Hey hey hey, my name is Paul Hoshlings and welcome to Sun Rider Academy. Recording overnight again. And it's not really a good idea to record right now because in the morning I actually have a job interview. But well I guess you can't stop me from playing Sunrider. So we have holidays student holiday students day. When it comes to clumps we have 125. But I need to raise all of the clumps to 150 now. Exhibition first, then kendo and then swimming. Okay. I will try to remember that. So your morale is already full. All I need to do is get the uh, this stuff up. Okay, I've adopted a refined stack of paperwork on my desk. It's my month 8 already. You know what this means, Kato. The culture festival is coming up. Usually, it takes a committee of 12 people all month to prepare the necessary paperwork. But since we are the only two people here, we are going to have to work. Uh, to each work 6 times harder than normal. Oh shit. All the color drained from my face as I stared at my own paperwork. I knew this was an oxymoron, but if I let Ava have her way with me, I'd have a head full of white hair by the end of the year. Your hair are already white, by the way, dude. You know, Press, we both know the paperwork doesn't really matter now. Can we just skip it and do more interesting things, like brainstorm ideas for stents and stuff? Not happening. It's a matter for the clubs to decide. If a club has an idea for stand, our job is to fill in the necessary forms to ensure that it's safe and appropriate for Sunrider Academy. It's not as glorious job and some might think it's boring. She eyed me condescendingly. But it's our duty to the school. Uh, all this talk about duty made me feel old. The culture festival was a time of celebrating our youth. But obviously, she wasn't going to have any of that. In fact, I already knew that she was going to run around campus yelling and pointing fingers at everyone to fill in their forms. Her life story seemed to be composed of nothing but bossing people around. No wonder nobody else liked her. I shook my head. Just when it seemed like my troubles were disappearing, a new crisis loomed. Understood, press. I reluctantly looked over the first form on the pile. So boring. I pretended to work on trying to not fall asleep. Class time. Do homework. Oversee practice one more time. Homework. Okay. Re research. Hmm. Okay, let's actually recruit because this club is missing members compared to others. I think that's a good idea actually. Aich. Stress level 29 only. It's okay. okay. I don't have any more homework to be done. But I know no one really to go talk with, so let's study. 
whatever. Let's rise these points. Hey, <laughs> where'd you hear that? Now that I think about it, when we finish the 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 the, the ah uh, no, right, the arc of Ava. I will definitely want to get to the other arcs, but maybe I will just stay to to record the events and without skipping through all this stuff, right? Like uh, like right now, grade ninety nine. Okay. Stress is almost at the 50. But I guess it won't be a problem. At least for now. Eight month, first week, tenth day, okay. Zero day is tenth day, actually. Just in case you don't know. Living on the edge. Okay, so it's 50 now. Actually, let's try doing this. I will study. I will actually do homework. And this. And that makes it 54. Let's do homework again. I walked out of the school exhausted. <sighs> this was a waste of time. What was, I was I what was I doing? Using the precious hours of my off to fill in paperwork which ultimately got filled in a basement without anyone even looking at it. Every moment I spent writing forms. I was waiting, wasting time. I could use for more fruitful endeavors. Like dating or at least make outs. Ah, <sighs> Ava sure was as cold as ever. Despite everything we had done, she still treated me like her subordinate. Come on, would it hurt to just hold hands? <sighs> Come on, Kato. Ask if Ava would ever deign to hold hands with the likes of me. She probably lectured me to the high heavens about maintaining the property of Sunrise Academy and the need for constant professionalism. I looked up to the heavens, desperate enough to even seek some kind of divine intervention. Oh, holy infinite emperor, if you are truly a fair and just ruler, please deliver this humble servant his bountiful love life. Oh, as I was distracted with my prayer, I bumped into someone. Oh, sorry. What the hell are you doing? Press? Uh, speak of the devil. Could my prayer have been answered already? Pay more attention when you are walking. <sighs> what are you, an idiot or something? God damn it, Ava. What were you even doing? Walking absent mindedly while staring up into the sky. Uh, I was just wondering if I could see any ships in low orbit. <laughs> hey, Press, did you know on Solaris there is so much orbital traffic that there are lines of ships crisscrossing the sky? It's like little end trials up above you. Of course I do. In fact, I think it was me who originally told you that a long time ago. Was it? It was so far ago, I can't even remember. You've already forgot? Ah, whatever. Let's just go home. Alright. We got off the transit at our stop. I saw Murray waving at us when we got off. Oh! My lesson went a bit later than usual. She ran over and walked alongside me. <laughs> Pretty rare to see walking home with Abigator. Mary read me with her elbows and whispered into my ears. You sly dog, something good happened, didn't it? N nothing good happened, really. Murray, not now. 
Hey, 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 hey. Ah, Harvey, dear miss, the maestro was mad with me again. Well, he always tells me I play too fast. Maybe just because I want the lesson to be over quicker. Hey. Murray, your parents invest a lot of money into your lessons. Make sure you take them seriously, okay? Understood. As we walked home, the first snowflake of the season fell from the sky. Oh no. Snow already? Whoa, looky looky Keita! It's snow already! I hope it covers the school field and we can make snowmen! I sniffed. No thank you. Come to think of it, we had made absolutely zero progress in getting those hallway uniforms. <laughs> Which we talked about like... 20 episodes ago. Which episode is it, by the way? Maybe about 15 episodes. <sighs> and to think I joined the student council just for that. Now I knew there was pretty much zero chance we'd ever be able to get the new uniforms. The best I could do was to find a warm body to candle with while walking to school. I look at Ava. What? What are you looking at me like that for? Yeah, right. Great, well, looks like I had no other choice but to stuff Fleet Admiral in my shirt every morning and take him to school with me. Ah, who needed woman when I had the furry companionship of man's best friend? What? Life wasn't good. We reach our apartment. Well, here we are. Mm, I should get working. I still have some things I want to look over for the culture festival. Alright, don't work yourself too hard, okay? Mm. Mm, oh, Heavy, you should go over more often. Our parents want to see you for dinner. I shouldn't impose. Actually, it's not a problem. In fact, we get worried whether you're doing all right when we don't see you. Are you doing all right living by yourself? Mm, I like the peace and quiet anyways. Typical. Honestly, the thought of living in a silent apartment without any family seems like a miserable existence to me. I feel a bit envious. I think it's actually not a bad thing. I guess Ava really must not have any emotions or something. Alright, I'll see you tomorrow then. Mm, good night. Ava walked away from us. Uh, Keita, you should have been more resistant. She said she was fine, didn't she? Uh, you don't know a single thing about dating. I'm is feeling lonely without you over. I'm sure she's going to cry herself to sleep tonight because it's so cold in her bed by herself. Moran, don't kid me. I walked away and headed to the elevator. I'm not kidding! Okay, dog! Mari chased after me. Living on the edge. Yeah, that stress level is living on the edge for sure. So I'm gonna do homework. And that's all, because I have no idea how far I can go with this level, stress level. But of course, that doesn't mean I won't recruit a bit. <laughs> and stroll. Oh my god, I haven't been strolling in forever. So it seems like 50 is like at the limit when it comes to stress. When is them? <laughs> oh crap, an exhibition is soon. Okay, classroom, eat lunch. Recruit again. Uh. Screw it. Screw the living on the edge. Boom.
thirty two. Okay. It's been break and the day of the regional exhibition. Let's recruit some members again. And let's go. If we place here, we'll be able to move to the, onto the national exhibition. Shigara pays nervously as the members of the science club set up our display. <laughs> we really should have tested the matter metal portal more. We'd be finished if we tucked into the portal the tube of of one of the judges. <laughs> so basically, the judges are old farts. Yes, that would be bad. Don't worry. I don't think something like that will happen. <laughs> I was getting nervous myself. If we didn't place here, we'd be in quite a bit of a trouble. I shook my anxiety off and tried to be optimistic. As a club manager, I had to reassure the science club that our hard work, hard work would finally come into fruition. We've worked hard for all year for this moment. I'm sure we'll be able to do it, Chigara. Okay. Ch Chigara will try her best. You must get the at least bronze in the competition qualifier. I know about this. It was the same with the Kendo before. We are going to win this. We are bringing the gold medal to Sunrider Academy. And the next thing we have is the Kendo Tournament. Okay, so we can raise morale and that way we won't really raise the stress level. <laughs> That's how it's done. So basically I'll earn 4 and lose 4. I feel I think I feel like we should stroll a bit right now as well again. Because why not? I don't really remember, to be honest, studying that much. Ever. <laughs> but it's not like I didn't study at all. I might be always like the last minute student when it comes to studying, but... It sure took some time for me to remember stuff. Because unfortunately you know how it works. School is about testing your memory most in most cases. And not actual well knowledge if you can say that. Homework again because never enough homework. Oi, oi, oi. I walked in the council room and saw Ava standing by herself out the window. Hey, Press, is something the matter? Nothing much. She turned around and sat down on her desk. <clears throat> well, did you get the event authorization forms from the club captains? Yeah, I have them right here. I opened my call and sent them to Ava. Soon enough, she was buried with more forms than I would even care to deal with. <sighs> I had no idea why I was still did any of this. Forget this. Come on, all of this is just bunk, right? Why are we even doing any of this when none of it matters? Because it's our duty, Kato. Duty, huh? <sighs> you know, there is more to life than just following the instructions. You know, with today's technology, you could pretty much automate anything. 
But you know what, people still have jobs, they still meet together and decide things. Doesn't that make us more than just machines who mindlessly follow their programming? Not really. Ava closed her hole. <sighs> How many humans do you think exist in the universe right now? Uh, well, a, a lot? I don't really know, but it must be several trillions. Pretty much. Do you honestly think your life matters that much when there are so many other people out there? Humans are expansionist creatures. We don't really know where we started or how we began. But what's clear is that we spread throughout the galaxy, adapting the environment to fit our needs. A trillion human beings might inhabit this universe, but that's just a drop in the bucket compared to the number of life forms we've completely exterminated just to make our lives more comfortable. Okay, do you really think humanity cares about stuff like freedom or democracy? It was always the survival of the fittest from the beginning. That's true. Total beginning beings like us aren't going to change our school, much less the galaxy. We just say things like, if we put our minds to it, anything's possible, and fool ourselves into thinking our tiny little lives matter. But in the end, the entire sum of our lives amount to little more than the existence of dust-sized bugs in the grand scheme of things. We sit in this council room, filling in forms, holding meetings, reassuring the student body that their mundane lives will continue. We accomplish nothing, and yet accomplish everything. So long as we go through the motions, we uphold the illusion that each and every member of the students will grow up to be happy and productive members of society. Do you think I can change the world? Do you think anything I do matters? No, and yes. Society is nothing more than deceptions, keeping alive deceptions which keep alive deceptions. That's a lot of deceptions. If one illusion fails, then the chain of illusions which compose our reality will shatter. Everything will be meaningless then, but everything is already meaningless. Idiot, you idiot! How could you not realize this? My head heard that. Ava, what's the matter? Nothing really. I walked over to her. Uh, don't say all that and tell me nothing's the matter. Something's definitely wrong, isn't it? I've decided. I'm going away. <coughs> what? No. We're, we're going away where? I'm enlisting in the Space Force. <coughs> I'm flying out after graduation. <coughs> what? I had no idea how to respond to this. In the back of my head, I had always wondered what Ava would do after graduating. Maybe I did entertain the slight possibility that I wouldn't be able to see her again. I mean, we couldn't remain childhood friends forever. Eventually, we're going to grow up and go our separate ways. Yeah, I mean, this was the only way this could end, wasn't it? Graduation meant that we would have to change. I couldn't expect Ava to be the girl next door for the rest of my life. That just wasn't realistic. Well, um, I'm happy for you, Press. You always admired the work your father did, didn't you? I'm sure it'll make us all proud. One day we'll all know you as the hero of Syrah. And yet, was, what was this excruciating pain in my chest? You too, Kato, you too, same here. I shouldn't feel this way, I was just moving out on to greater things. This was the most important thing to her life. I mindlessly stumbled over to my desk. I buried my whole head into my hollow. Shit, why was I suddenly panicking? She was just filling out more forms as if nothing had happened. Boy, don't tell me you seriously don't care about me at all. You were just going to up and leave after all that? Of course, I was nothing more than just a dust-sized insect. To her. Was my existence really so insignificant to you? Uh, calm down, Kato. Calm down, Lynx. I stood. Cerberus, I need a break. Mm. I walked out of the council room and closed the door behind me. Ah, uh, shithead. I bolted off like an idiot. I sat by myself in the park. What the hell was I doing? I sure was making a fool of myself. I wonder what next year is going to be like. I had spent most of my life with Ava. 
Why now trying to imagine a life without her was just impossible. Ah, she did nothing but insult me, but I had just gotten so used to her. I had never seriously fathomed a day would come when she would no longer be a part of my life. Suddenly someone put her hands on my eyes. <laughs> Bless her! Mari. Oh, how do you know? How can I not recognize my own sister's voice? Uh, Mari walked in front of me and sat down beside me on the bin bench. Mm -hmm. Kito running off by herself because you got dumped by Avi is so uncool. How did she really know? Did girls seriously have an antenna on their heads they could use to secretly communicate without guys noticing? Don't be stupid. I was just taking a walk. I have no idea what you're talking about. Ah, <laughs> uh, too bad, eh, Kato? After all that work you've put into getting on Avi's good side, I guess she's just going to end up and leave you. Ah, I'm a little offended too, you know. Cause if I were her, I would definitely stay with you, you know. Mari. Besides, I don't really see what's so good about abandoning all your friends and family to live by yourself in space. Sounds really lonely to me. Wouldn't having a home full of family be so much better than a closed spaceship? <laughs> I patted her on the head. Seriously, you took the words right of them out of my mouth. <laughs> don't worry, Kato. No, many. What? No matter how many girls dump you, you'll always have me as your sister. Thanks. Uh, just when I was starting to like her, she honestly had to jab me like that. Alright. <laughs> she leaped up from the bench before I could retaliate. Let's go home, Kate. Mari ran away from me, laughing her head off. Alright. I trust after her. My war is forgotten. Ah, uh, whatever. As long as my dog and sister weren't going anywhere, I guess it wasn't too bad. Seriously. Stupid Ava. God damn it. You see, Kato, we are not giving up, you understand? We are going to fight until the end. Don't lose hope. If I could do something about this, I would do something about this, but I kind of can't. Which is quite problematic for me. Uh, Kendo? Kendo. Sure, one more time. Done with this crap, I mean, with this homework. Let's earn money because of reasons. So I have how many? How much money for 23? Okay, because in here we have Chikara's birthday, Sola's birthday. So a lot of birthdays. We need to be prepared for this as well. going to study again, dude. Not this one. This one. Alright. Uh, reached what I wanted, so how about we prepare our swimming team for the next competition as well. Okay, I think in temporary job. Praying a bit for our luck. Please make Ami change her decision and stay with me. That's right. That's what I prayed there about. I uh, prayed for actually. Wait a second, now I can see right. Why previously I couldn't see it? 
Suspicious, very suspicious. Oh, so suspicious. How far? Okay, we are almost here. <sighs> we are here. Ready, people? Because we are starting the national championships. School from across Syria have gathered for the national championships. Alright, we were at the national championships now. Finally, after a year of hard work, we made it here. Could this be the moment of our triumph? Yeah, Keita! <sighs> we are finally here! The national championships! Didn't I say we'd make it here? Hoo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Now watch me completely wipe the floor with these guys! So overconfident. I cross my arms. It still is too soon to be celebrating, Asalia. You still haven't even won. Besides, we'll need to get at least a silver here just to make it into the Galactic Championships. Don't worry, Kato! This will be a walk in the park! I sure hope so. I went to the bleachers and nervously waited results. Let's do this. We have the bronze. We are going for the gold, that's always, of course. Come on. That's right, silver. We are in the Galactic Championships. But we are going there as unbeatable uh, team this year, basically. <clears throat> I guess after a gold model, I can allow myself for a stroll. You know, we won again. <laughs> <sighs> Alright, next. Well, I, I wanted to say next week starts the next day, but let's quickly get with the training here. Oh, come back. Can I return? Return? I think I did not return, but whatever. One more time, and one more time, and now we can end the episode here, so hope you enjoyed it, and see you in the next one, bye bye.